Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 8744. So today guys we're doing our Asian Cup match day 2 2023 predictions guys. So I want to know your guys predictions in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. And of course I'm very sorry for this video coming out late. I wanted to wait for match day 2 to conclude and obviously AFCON. I'm sorry match day 1 to conclude and there obviously was AFCON games. I got to do a stream. So sorry this is coming out pretty late because around 12 hours from now I think is the, the next the next game. So we're going to start first with group A. We're going to start first with the Group A games, and we're gonna start first with Lebanon versus China. Lebanon, man, I was just very, very unimpressed with their performance against Qatar. They were very, very abysmal. I was not very impressed with them whatsoever. China, on the other hand, they were also not great against Tajikistan. That being said, I do think China have more quality than Lebanon, so it's a difficult one. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This is a difficult one. I think I'm gonna go for a narrow score. I think this will be a very low scoring game, but I'm going to go for a 1 0 win for China. I think China will nick a win, but it's going to be very close. I could see even being a draw, but I just feel like China, for me, they're going to come alive, and I feel like they'll score a late goal. I think they'll score a late goal to get three points. Next up is Tajikistan versus Qatar, guys. Uh, Tajikistan versus Qatar, man. This is going to be a difficult game for Tajikistan. We saw how well they played against um, Qatar in particular. Uh, I mean, sorry, against China. They just couldn't finish. Qatar, on the other hand, they can't finish. They're clinical. I, I have a feeling it's going to be one of those games where Tajikistan is going to play well. They're going to dominate possession. They're going to control the game. They're going to have chances. But the Qatar goalkeeper is going to make saves. And I think Qatar, with the few chances they're going to have, they're going to be clinical. And I think Qatar is going to win this. I'm going to say Qatar wins this 2-0. I think Tajikistan will probably be the more better team and probably be the more... In, I'll probably be more impressed, but I think Qatar just have too much quality. I think Qatar will just see it through and i think they'll do it i'm not gonna say they're gonna win it two nil so if that pans out this is how the group would pan out so qatar would finish qatar would be top of the group of six points they would pretty much qualify and china they would pretty much also qualify and i think for lebanon they would be in a pretty bad position because they would have to play against tajikistan in the final match day and they would have to basically win so it's gonna be difficult for them so yeah this is how it's all panning out for group a Moving on to the next game we got here is Group B. We got here it is Syria versus Australia. Syria, man, I thought they put up a really good game against um, uh, Uzbekistan in particular. They were very, very defensive. They were very solid in the day, and I think they very validly earned, earned a point. Australia, man, even though they were not that great against India, they still managed to get the win. They found a, found a way to grind out the win. And I think for but I think the key the key for Australia to score early goal because I think the longer it takes for Australia to score, the more and more Syria is going to be compact and the more and more Syria is going to frustrate. Because if you don't score the early goal against Syria, you're going to be punished because Syria is going to be very defensive, very frustrating, very difficult to beat, and they might even score themselves. So I think for Australia, if they don't score an early goal, I think they're in trouble because even though they didn't score early goal against India, and they still managed to get the game done. I think Syria for me are way better defensive than India. I think Syria, for me, is going to give Australia more of a game than India did in the defensive aspect. And I think Australia is going to do this. I think Australia is going to win this, though. Very close, but I'm going to say Australia is going to win this 1-0. I think it's going to be a 1-0 win for Australia. And obviously, Syria is looking to get revenge for 2018 World Cup qualifiers, in which, as we all know, guys, Australia denied their spot in the World Cup playoffs. And with this win, I think Australia will be through to round 16. Next, India versus Uzbekistan. Huge, huge game for India. This is a big game for India. India have to get something from this game. If India don't get anything from this game, they're in big trouble. It's a difficult game to call because we saw how bad Uzbekistan were against here. Uzbekistan, they, really, they weren't great whatsoever. They didn't really create enough attacking quality chances. And they had to resort and crossing and to get the ball to try to cross the ball into the net. And it just wasn't effective. India, on the other hand, we didn't really see any of their attacks. But then again... India was trying to play the control damage against Uzbek uh, against Australia. India, man, this is going to be a difficult game. I don't know what to say for this one. This is a difficult game, guys. If India can get a draw from this game, this will make this group very interesting. I don't know, man. It's going to be difficult, guys. It's going to be difficult. I, I think for this game, guys... I'm going to say Uzbekistan narrowly win. I think Uzbekistan will find a way to win this game, and I think they'll win this game 1-0. I am hope I'm wrong, though, because I was very tempted to go for a draw. I was very tempted to go for a 1-1 draw, 
But I just feel like for me, India's attack is going to underperform again. And I feel like Uzbekistan will get a gr narrow win. A narrow, narrow win, guys. And I think Uzbekistan will do it. I hope I'm wrong, though. I really, really hope I'm wrong. Moving on to the next game we got here is Group C. Um, we got here is... Um, we got here, it is uh, Palestine versus UAE. Palestine, man. We saw how good... Uh, we saw how how defensively poor they were against Iran and how Iran were able to basically beat them with ease. Palestine were very bad defensively. I think for Palestine, the key for them in this game is to not concede that ridiculous. I think the longer... Because I said this for Syria. I think the longer it takes for UAE to score, the longer it, Palestine had their confidence. Because we know how good Palestine are defensively. I think UAE is going to win this, though. I think they'll find a way to win this. And I think it's going to be a scrappy win, but I think UAE is going to win this. I think UAE is going to win this. I'm going to say they win this 2-0. I think they're going to win this 2-0. I think UAE will... I have a feeling UAE will score two early goals and then sit back. Or I have a feeling here's what's going to happen. UAE either score two early goals or two late goals. Something... My brain is just telling me that's going to happen. I don't know why. That's just what I'm being... That's just what my gut instinction is. Moving on to the next game is Hong Kong versus Iran. Hong Kong, man, they put up a great game against, um, obviously, Iran. Sorry, against um, UEE. They were just great. The issue for Hong Kong, though, is that defensively they made too many mistakes. That's my only concern with Hong Kong is that they have to be a bit better in the defensive aspect. Because if they're not, they're not going to get it. They have, they're not going to get They're going to lose this game. And for Hong Kong, they got to get something from this game. Because if they don't get anything... Well, the thing is, that they do have the Palestine game, though, to be fair, in the final match today. But if they can get a point here, that could be really, really great for them. Guys, I'm going to go with Iran to win this. I think Iran is going to win this. I'm going to say Iran is going to win this. I'm going to say they win this. You know what? I'm going to go for a big score. I think Iran is going to win this 5-1. 5-0, actually. I think 5-0. Very, very harsh. But you know what? That's a bit harsh. Let's put 4-0. I'll put 4-0 Iran. I'll put 4 0 Iran. Okay. So, Group C D, guys. Group D. We got here, it is um, Group D. We got here is Iraq versus Japan. This will be a good game, guys. In my opinion, this will be the best game of the uh, best game of match day two. And I think for Japan, this will be a big test for them because we saw how good Iraq were against Indonesia. Now, I do have one concern with Japan. I said this in my match day review. That I don't trust Japan's goalkeeper. I don't trust Suzaki. I think Suzaki is a very, very, very suspect goalkeeper. And I think if Iraq can exploit that, they can maybe get a draw from this game. Maybe even win this game. Because Japan were good against Vietnam, don't get me wrong. But I think Iraq is going to be a bigger challenge than Vietnam. Because I do feel like Japan were a bit too... I think they underestimate Vietnam. So Japan can't underestimate Iraq. That being said, I still am going to go with Japan to win this, but something tells me that Iraq may surprise. Iraq may surprise. And I really wish I could watch this game, guys, but it's way too early. It's at 6 38. So I'm gonna have to try to watch the I'm gonna have to try to watch the full hot game somehow or watch maybe the highlights or something. But yeah, I think Japan's gonna win this though. I'm gonna say they win this 2 1. Moving on to the next game we've got here. It is um Vietnam versus Indonesia. Vietnam, man, they put up a great, great game against Japan. A violently fought in the game and they put up a great game that was a really good first half but they just didn't have enough quality man indonesia also played really good against um wait hold on this is wrong though it should be 3-1 iraq i don't know why for some reason the site has 3-1 indonesia that's an error on the site i don't know what the heck okay anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and just ignore that um uh, indonesia played really well against iraq they just couldn't he just I just think Iraq was just too good. I think Vietnam's gonna win this one, but I think it's gonna be a thriller. I think Vietnam's gonna win this three two. I think it's gonna be a three two win for Vietnam and I think they'll get it. They'll get it man. They'll do it. Yeah but this side needs to be updated man. This is an error man. This is an error man. It should be this is how it should be guys. This is how it should be. Moving on to group E we got here it is um um, Malaysia, sorry, Jordan versus Korea Republic. Korea Republic, man, they were great value again. They were really good against their win against Bahrain. I was really, really impressed with Korea Republic. Jordan, on the other hand, weren't that. They were amazing against uh, Malaysia. That being said, though, Jordan did kind of defensively a bit vulnerable at times. 
And um, I do kind of expect more from Jordan in the, that aspect. But that being said, um, they were still good value, and they obviously deserve the win. Can Jordan get a point here against Malaysia? Because remember, guys, Jordan is actually top of the group by goal difference. South Korea have to win this. And I think South Korea will. I think South Korea will win this. I think this will be a close game, though. But I think Jordan, I think this will be a 2 1 win for South Korea. I don't trust South Korea's defense. I don't trust South Korea's defense in this game. So that's why I think uh, Korea Republic will concede. But I do think they will still win. Next up is Ball Rain versus Malaysia, guys. I think this is where the road ends for Malaysia, guys. It was a good road while it lasted. It was good to see what they can do, but this is too much. Ball Rain for me are just too good defensively. And even though they conceded three goals against Korea Republic, it's Korea Republic. They're one of the best nations in Asia. I think Malaysia, for me, is going to play the high line again. Well, here's the thing, though. If Malaysia plays a high line, this game is already over. Because this high line isn't going to work against Barney. I assume that Malaysia won't be as naive as they were against Jordan. But I still think Bahrain's going to win this. I think Bahrain's going to win this. I think they're going to win this 1-0. I think they're going to win this 1-0. I just feel like, for me, Malaysia will approach a more balanced approach. But I feel like Bahrain is just going to dominate them and still win the game. But I don't think Bahrain will score enough goals. Which is why I think they're going to only win by one goal. Finally, the last two games we got here, Group F, we got here. It is Oman versus Thailand. Um, for me in this game, guys, I'm going to go with... Um, this will be a difficult one. Because obviously, Oman put up a really good performance against um, Saudi Arabia. And we're very unlucky to have lost that game in that kind of fashion. So for Oman, man, I think they're gonna I think they're gonna win this. I think they're gonna win this. Because Thailand for me, as good as they were against Kyrgyzstan, I do feel like Oman is a bigger challenge, a bigger test, and Oman is a lot more consistent than Kyrgyzstan. So I think Oman is gonna um, win this one. I think Oman's gonna win this, and I'm gonna say Oman wins this one nil. I think this time around they won't give up the lead and I think they're gonna keep it at one nil. And Thailand is gonna be frustrated and yes, Oman man getting a huge, huge win. Now the next up is Kyrgyzstan versus um Saudi Arabia. This is going to be a big game, guys. Big, big game here, guys. We saw what Saudi Arabia did. They had to struggle to beat Oman and had to rely on goals from individual brilliance and a set piece there. So, how will Kyrgyzstan do, man? I think Kyrgyzstan, for me, they didn't show enough quality against um, Thailand, and I was really, really disappointed. I think they could have done better. I think Saudi Arabia is going to win this. I think Saudi Arabia is going to win this. I think they're going to win this one. Yeah. I think Saudi Arabia is just going to find a way to Narrowly won this 1-0, no, even if it's not the most convincing win. So as you can see right guys, this is how I have the third place teams advancing. So I have Thailand, Vietnam, Bahrain, Syria as of right now. Um, remember though, this is match day 2, so we still have match day 3 to take place. And so Tajikistan and Palestine would miss out on goal difference. So I hope you guys did enjoy today on this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I hope you guys do enjoy this site. I think this is a much better site than I did for last time's video. So... If you guys did enjoy, remember guys to like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy. Remember guys to comment down below your thoughts, comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.